Right, what up YouTube? It's Rain, the ma 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 mask. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be a review. So on my last video, I did a um, kind of like a show, um, like a unboxing, so to speak. And I said, if I, I just asked you guys the question, if you like them, hit the like button. If you dislike them, hit the dislike button. <laughs> and it was mad. So I think the ratio was something along the lines of 18 people liked them. Shouts out to Macy again, because I think he'd done that about four times. And then it was about 38, maybe 40 people disliked them. Irrespective, I was going to do the review anyway. And the reason why I'm doing the review anyway is because it's quite a rare shoe. It's quite a rare trainer. Sorry, shoe. I'm getting influenced by everybody else. It's quite a rare trainer. But anyway, let's get into this. So, this is, um, this is what they're called. So, it's the Nike Air Max SP. Um, now, this is Liberty. They only released at two re retailers in the UK. Um, one was Nike Online, or Nike, sorry, Nike Online, or Nike U, Nike Lab, which is in Shoreditch, oh, Shoreditch, all type of massive that know about that, and then Liberty, where I managed to pick these up from. If anyone's actually been into Liberty, if you have, sorry, if you haven't been into Liberty, just go in there and have a look around. Some nice eye candy in there. Anyway. So, um, these actually released originally um, this time last, no, no, October last year. Um, and they were, they were relatively, no, actually they sold out. They sold out quite quickly. Um, and I, me personally, what I think made these hype was the fact that Beyonce wore the gold pair. And then I think it just went through the roof. Um, and I shouldn't even be tossing them around like that. Um, and what people are calling these is um, liquid silver. Now, I think liquid silver, as some people have said, sounds a bit gay. So how I term it, I term it to be liquid aluminum or liquid mercury. If anyone knows where liquid or where, where that comes from, liquid aluminum, let me know. Actually, hold on, there's a clue. Right, anyway, so let's just get into the detail. Look, it's, so, so let's be realistic. It is a traditional Air Max One silhouette. So I don't need to go into that. So comes with these um, fancy laces. Now those look a bit Bianca Jackson, as people have said. Um, and if you scroll around, look, it's just liquid. Uh, it's, uh, ultimately, it is a very, very high quality leather, which they've used. Um, and then they've given it this, um, the, well, and the levers, and they've given the leather this metallic finish, so to speak. Now, the difference from the old original version, the original version had a clear, or this midsole was not speckled. They've added on this silver speckle onto it. Now, I'm not sure if that makes it better or worse, I think in the gold it looks better, in the silver it doesn't look as good. Um, and then if you go inside, um, the inside is um, a premium leather, so it's a premium leather all the way in. You can probably just see the perforations in the leather, and then you can just see the actual, um, sorry, you can just see the actual um, sole in there. Um, you can just tell it's a different quality from like a, a Jordan sole or um, like a, a normal Air Max 1 sole. It, it's even a better quality than the um, the um, the roundels that I had a while ago. Uh, and just to have a look at the quality and the stitching, as you can see, not a stitch out of place. These are SPs or premiums or whatever you want to call them. I would say the cut on the leather isn't fantastic, but it would do, you get me? The tongue is also that platinum silver um, and hopefully you can see this I just wanted to show you the tongue now for those that know about trainers what does that remind you of it actually says AG um, 74 AG and then down here it says 107 8 blah 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 basically this is the lab symbol the three lab on Jordans now I'm not sure if there's any significance to it I haven't done the research so apologies um, but again it's, it's, it's an interesting factor or feature now um, I've, I've personally got these 
because I think they're collectors. I, I am a collector of trainers. Some you will see me wear, some you will see me not wear. These you will probably never ever see me wear unless, unless Armageddon happens tomorrow and God comes from the heavens and says, right, you can go to heaven, just put on what kicks you wanna wear, put on what trainers you wanna wear, boom. Like, this is heaven trainers, isn't it? Fuck this, 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 sorry to swear, God, sorry. But these are heaven trainers. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking a bit of bullshit. Um, and then if you just go under, the actual um, sole, typical Air Max sole, but interestingly enough, it does have the speckles underneath as well, which I thought was a nice little touch. And I think it's all about these little different touches on the trainers. Um, and then you get, well, what lets it down is this bag, I think. Um, these bags on premium trainers with laces in them, it's the, I just think they're killers. But anyway, it's Rain the Mask. It's been the liquid platinum, liquid aluminum. Or if you want to be simple and just call them silver, liquid silver, Air Max 1s, 87s if you want to call it that. Holler at me. What are your thoughts and feelings? Rain the Mask. Signing out. See